Okay, hi. So, um, it's a Saturday night, and I'm honestly, like, bored. So, I'm planning on doing a tutorial on face painting kind of thing. Because, like, I don't know. Like, okay, I was just sitting down watching Next Great Baker, and I was like, I really want to look like a pirate right now. Like, I'm not even joking. So, I'm planning on doing a video on looking like a pirate. Okay, so, stay tuned, and I'll show you how to make yourself look like a pirate. Okay, so the next step is to draw your hat, like, you know, you know how they have those fancy hats? Yeah, okay, well, whatever. So, you're going to draw that. Okay, I couldn't draw that because I messed up, honestly, like, four times, like, trying to do it, like, camera reflection mirror kind of thing it was really bad so I like cut it out and went to the bathroom and did it Oops. yeah okay well what you want to do is you want to like make the hat you don't want to start like you don't want to make a tiny hat right here because that's like you know like you don't want to make like a jew cap or I don't know what they're called yarmulke you don't want to make like you know something tiny you want to like make it actually cover your face because it's face paint okay so what you do is you kind of make a line to like distinguish from your eyebrow because you don't want to make a freaking like monobrow so you do it up there then you kind of like do this slant so it's like saying that it's going around like you don't have to do wait you don't wait it's on the side okay you don't have to do a slant but you know i was just being creative and then on this side you do like where it kind of knots off like except they'd be in the back if you're like realistic pirate but you know it's like kind of just being knotted like a tide okay next what you do is take a red now i'm using like a face paint like a whole kit kind of thing like back from like Halloween yeah this is something people do on Halloween but we're gonna just do it with that okay so you take this thingy actually, that way, no. okay so you take a sponge sponge and you want to like cover it in red in like a decent amount you know like so on the tip and so you're gonna like work from top top up yeah I'm, I've never really done this before like camera version it's usually me doing it to others or like me in the mirror so it's kind of harder. Okay. I'll get used to it. Okay, so you want to like obviously just cover the line more so than like. Alright, so I'll be back. I'll finish this and I'll show you the next step. Okay, so now that it's all red. Alright. Um. Now is whenever you start to do the eye patch. Now, since this side has already so much going on on it, you don't want to also have the eye patch on this side. So you want to put the eye patch on this eye. So here's like a really easy way. You don't have to honestly like paint your whole eye black, like, and then like connect a line. It's kind of like, you know, like too much work. And sometimes we don't want that much work. So, what you're going to do, it would have probably been a good idea to not have makeup up here. Tip. Okay. Let me see if I can do this. Okay. Um, there's like a mini mirror now here. So, I'm like looking at that. Okay. Um, let's see. How are we going to do this? Okay. Well, you could start like right here and and pull it down nope wrong way down okay you want to pull it like oh my gosh this is so hard okay
and go straight across into there. So of course that would look bad. Yeah, people can tell I'm a total ah! starter right now. Okay, there. There you go. Okay, yeah, we can fix that later, you know. Mistakes, everyone makes mistakes. Okay, now what you're going to do is just fill in from, like, the right, ah, okay, right here of your eye and go all the way to right there. Like, basically make a big black, like, outline of your eye, but, like, so... Okay, this black is like really bad. I don't recommend you. I'm probably going to go end up getting my eyeliners. But yeah. So, yeah, I'm like honestly really not good at this as you can tell. This isn't like my style of, you know, makeup, okay. But this is it, okay. So, then you're gonna like outline it. And then take like, it's honestly a lot easier if you just take the black from your palette, like a bigger amount of black than using the pen, because that'll take forever for you to finish like till I finish doing your whole eye because you're gonna then take it and basically cover like basically act like you're putting on makeup you know yeah all right so I'm gonna go do that okay now I have finished my eye patch there you go. Um, now, honestly, is like when it kind of comes to like doing whatever you want, like with this, now it's kind of like, all right, well, think of whatever else you want to do. And to me, I kind of think it's cool if we like, I don't know, put on like a beard kind of thing, you know? I think it'd be cool. So, I'm going to teach you how to do that because I think that'd be cool. Alright, what you're going to do is take your sponge. Um, obviously, don't use the red side because you don't want like a red beard. Kind of poke like inside. Get like, cover it decent, not a lot, but just like a little bit with black. And just kind of like start from like where you'd probably get sideburns or whatever they're called and like obviously like when it dies get more I don't know how many have beards but you know I'm guessing they have like a lot more in here so we can add that I'm so confused. This is so complicated. Oh my gosh. Okay. And basically even it out. Which I don't think I'm doing. But we'll see. I think I'm fine. I don't know. So it does not seem even. Does it? I don't know. Yeah. So, yeah. It's like a chin strap or uh, whatever they're called. I think that's what these are called. I don't know. Okay. So there you go. 
Now you can kind of like fill it in more because this man kind of looks like he's not grown up yet. Obviously, like I'm like totally missing my chin area. There we go. I seem pretty manly right now. All right. And that to me is like an amazing pirate. Now, now you could do like whatever you want. Like you can add designs into your bandana. That's what it's called, a bandana. Bandana. That's what it's called. Sorry, I like totally blanked out. I was like, what is it called? Yeah, that's why I didn't like say anything. Okay. Like, let's see. Just gonna add a little bit of white. It can be like from a kit or not, but I just found this and I thought it'd be really cool to use. And I'm just gonna do dots. Like, with the tip of my finger. And just like... I don't know. Do you like some type of pattern, you know? Mm -hmm. I don't think that was a good place. But you know, just kind of. Uh, just kind of scatter them around. Yeah, I think that was too many. But, you know, there you go. There you go. Okay. So that's kind of how I decided on doing my tutorial on a pirate. So I hope now this is like a Halloween idea. And yeah. Okay, one thing I want to alert people. Sponges kind of absorb water, I'm guessing. This is like a lesson. And like, okay, this is like the sponge I've been using, okay? Okay, it's like that big. Like, okay, compared to my thumb, it's like right there, okay? Yeah. Now, the ordinary one, okay, that one. This is like a clean brand new one. I like wet it with water and it's kind of cool and it's really, like really amusing me now because like it doesn't fit in like these holes like whatsoever so yeah okay just thought I'd put that in there too so thanks for watching bye